What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to place rebar in a cross-section view and then uh, this rebar will gonna be placed parallel to the current work plane on the section view and then we are gonna change the scale, we're gonna change the detail level and then we are going to add our uh, rebar. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to zoom into this area here and then I'm going to create a section. Okay, so let's create a section. So from the quick access toolbar, I'm going to select the section and then I'm going to create a section starting from this point going down to this point. Okay, and then maybe you can just adjust your section by dragging this, for example, somewhere here. And then after that, modify. So let's go to the project browser and then open up the section. Now, what is this section? This section is section 2. So let's open the section 2 here. So that's one way. Of course, the other way is just double click the bubble here, the section bubble. Okay. Now, in this view, we are going to change first the scale. So let's change the scale. So click from the view control bar you can see the scale there so let's say I'm just gonna make that quarter of an inch to one foot scale and then let's change the detail level let's make it uh, fine fine detail level there you go okay and then let's zoom into this area here on our 0 to floor and let's place our uh, rebar okay so to do that all you have to do is to select your uh, structural frame your concrete beam and then after that from the contextual tab look for the reinforcement panel and then you can now see the rebar so it places multi-planar or free form rebar okay so let's select this one let's click so once you click that, you will see this um, dialog box. Just select OK. And then these are the rebar shape that you can add now to our model here. Okay, but actually this rebar shape browser is also this one here. So that's why, so maybe I'll just close the rebar shape browser and you can just select from here. The advantage of the rebar shape browser is that you can see the shape here right you can see the shape so let's say for example what i want here is uh rebar shape t1 so i'm gonna select that and then also you can specify here the placement methods so i'll just use here the default expand to host and then the placement uh, plane will gonna be the current work plane and then the placement orientation will gonna be uh, parallel to work plane okay so there are also other option here wherein you can create uh, multiple rebars you can set the type and then other options here okay right so after I select the T1 so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are now gonna place it here on our uh, uh, structural frame so you can just Place it like this okay so it's up to you how do you want your rebar to be look like so I'm just gonna pick to this face here like that and then after that I'm going to select here modify and that's it so that's your rebar so you can still modify this so I'm gonna select the rebar and then you see that uh, control arrow you can drag that just on the boundary of my frame there and then I'm gonna drag this one as well something like that okay and then after that just click outside and there you go so there's now your uh, rebar if you want to check this out in the 3d view what you can do is select this area and then open up your selection box and there you go so there's your rebar actually so you only have one there but you can change that later on if you want that to be multiple rebar so now for you to be able to see that clearly so maybe you can change your uh, visual style to wireframe 
so you can see it from there okay right so there's our section view so I'm gonna tile that so here's our section view and then this is how it looks like in 3d view okay so we are going to discuss more on uh, rebar but for now so this is how you place your basic rebar okay so once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day